Oh, you want one of these? You can get them at Tea Tree under Rig Vade. It has bigger letters than these, though. Impress all your friends. And they'll say, what is Rick Vade? And you can tell them everything. A great conversation starter. Uh, you know what? Steve Schmidt and Keith Olbermann crack me up. Every day they wring their hands over what they think is a Trump nightmare. It's not a nightmare. The nightmare is the thought that we have to save our democracy for the sake of future generations. Future generations will be enlightened. Things are going to change very soon. Democracy, one of the worst forms of government in this dark age. Hillbillies get to vote and create laws for you. This government divides friends and family, causes misery in the minds of the losing side, causes poverty for most and wealth for the few. It's filled with corruption, owned by corporation, drops bombs for oil, on innocent people. It drafts teenagers to die in Vietnam and does not provide fulfillment to the people. And now it's going to cause the death of a government. The best form of government for Kali Yug? <coughs> Benevolent monarchy. Where are you going to find that, though? We have a new kind of government coming. The nightmare didn't begin with Trump. It began when Kali Yug began 5,000 years ago. That brought the darkness that gave mankind what's called suffering. Suffering is not supposed to be part of human life. It's an anomaly. In this age of Kali Yug, what is good is now considered bad. What is bad is now considered good. It brought wars, murder, greed, plundering, poisoned food, poisoned soil, air, and water. It brought crime laws, courts, lawyers, prisons, disease, ignorance, and hate. Everything that we consider bad in our world. It's the age we live in. None of this is supposed to be part of human life, and it was not part of human life during the previous ages of Dwapara Yug, Treta Yug, or Satyug. This dark age began 5,000 years ago, and we have 427,000 more years before it ends, unless there's an intervention, and that intervention is coming within the next year and a half. Well, until the end of 2025. Democracy is actually a very bad form of government. It allows the most ignorant to make laws that govern the most intelligent. It gives demonic people power over us all. A rakshasa, a demon, always manifests on earth when the dark age of Kali Yuga is ending. And it is ending now. He incarnates with his minions to try to stave off the coming of the golden age of Satyug to destroy the world or to perpetuate all the bad things that Kali Yuga brings. 
he might succeed at winning the election. But I couldn't care less. I know there's going to be a phase transition no matter who wins. Even if Biden wins, we're not going to save our nation by electing Biden and having a perfect democracy for the next 10,000 years. It's about to die. And I know a Trump monarchy will be short-lived. So that's why I'm not worried. If Trump wins, there will be mass destruction. If Trump loses, there will still be mass destruction. That's because if he wins, he'll do what he did last time. He'll say the election was stolen. And next time, he'll incite a more powerful insurrection if he loses. Bigger riots and more violent riots. I know this because the prolia is coming. The chaos that always appears during the shift between the Dark Age and the Age of God's Light. And that was, Maharishi promised it to us in our age. Krishna promised it 5,000 years ago for this generation. And so did Markandeya, his contemporary. They weren't channelers. They weren't psychics. They were enlightened. They were living one with God. They knew everything. The period of chaos we're entering is called pralaya, which means, well, it's, it always precedes the shift to perfect order, as in the creation of a superfluid at almost absolute zero temperature, cooling helium gas, for instance, to a superfluid. Look up superfluid helium on YouTube and you'll see. It cools down, it becomes more and more orderly, and then suddenly very chaotic. Like it's boiling hot, even though it's about two degrees above absolute zero temperature. And then very suddenly, bang, the chaos in the jar goes down, and it's completely, the liquid is completely still, and it has qualities of the infinite. It'll crawl up the sides of the container and out and over the lip and down the outside to drip onto the floor. Stir it once and it spins forever. And that chaos, the bubbling up, the boiling up, precedes that perfect order. And the same laws apply in physics that apply in the laws of nature. When dark ages change into ages of light, the dawn of Satyug and its increasing purification began around 2009. Trump is a manifestation of the lower consciousness of most of the Earth's population. They're about to vanish because they cannot exist in the pure world that is approaching. They'll go somewhere else. So for now, everyone should just watch what is happening with amused interest. I've always said in my past videos that Trump will end when Kali begins. I get asked this question all the time. Jyotish doesn't determine that. It's determined by the level of consciousness of the world and how quickly we can get this, these groups together to create 24,000 Siddhas in India. And we're getting there. We've done it before, 1983, with a group of 8,000. The population has risen, so we need 10,000 now. We're going, really trying for 24,000. There were studies done on it, published in peer-reviewed journals. 
scientific papers. Think of this present world chaos as the most exciting drama ever filmed. And we already know how the movie will end. Oh, and Maharishi told us it ends 24, 2024 to 2025. So, if it doesn't, global warming will bring on the sixth extinction. Or Putin's nuclear arms will do it instead and create a nuclear cloud from the explosions all over the earth, blot out the sun, and kill everything, every blade of grass. So, there has to be an intervention. And Maharishi guaranteed it by filling the world with knowledge of how to experience the infinite in the very first meditation and without effort. No thought, beyond thought, transcending thought to the source of thought a field of unbounded awareness. The radiance from these meditators all over the world are giving rise to the purification of earth and the chaos that accompanies it. That's what's creating it. This has been measured and published in those scientific journals and it's a fact, a scientifically established fact. It's not wishing and hoping it's not new agey, it's the truth. And it's called by those scientists who did the experiment, the Maharishi effect, because he gathered that group together and trained them. There are other groups in India who follow other gurus who are learning Maharishi's methods and joining the group of 10,000. So it's growing rapidly. Once we understand the creation of a superfluid, the world's temporary increase in chaos makes perfect sense.